Good morning. Not really a beautiful morning. It's overcast already. So I hope we get a good weather during the day. We've got a lot of things to do. Bella having breakfast. Now she's finished. Finished breakfast, my love? No TV, no. Ah, you want the TV? Eat first. Today, but for sure, for sure, we're gonna have breakfast now. She watch our video. Smile. Uh, You're in first. candid camera. I had a little nap. Why? Oh, so tired. Why are you tired? Today's Sunday. If I feel bored, I probably. I think I'm gonna something. modify slightly uh, and test that new uh, ramp pump. I don't know. Okay, we're back to this uh, ramp pump. Okay, now after watch a few more videos, I realized that to work out the size of this, um, this is probably okay. It's 22 inch long, just the, the pipe itself, but you need to have something that uh, absorb the the shock of the water or the impact of the water and what about here is fat too big this would have been ideal once I pump up it would have been okay uh, if I would have if the volume of this would have been somehow half of the volume of that but I can't put it in it's too big so what I had to do is is a 12 inch bicycle tube this is much better now i can pump this up halfway and put it here now if i do that i can see already that this is probably too long too big so i need to cut it off and make it a bit shorter so instead of 22 inch i may have to make 19 19 inch roughly maybe 20 and, uh, but no, no bigger than that. So let's do that. I cut it here 22 because by the time we put those things it will be 20 19 to 20 inch yeah so I will cut it here okay this is cut now so this is gonna come here and this is gonna go here and this is gonna go here now something I want to show you is that before I had um, a metal nipple and when I fit that in and tighten this crack so I need to change that and what I've done is this I bought PVC one same as I had before and I've got a PVC nipple here All right. now I think one of the results so it cracks because there's too much weight to be held by the nipple so what I need to do I'm gonna make a base to hold this make a, a jig some kind and uh, hold this 
and also all this at the same time. So let's do that. Okay, I found a couple of timber. Of course, I got already my clips I bought before, and uh, I will put one this way to hold the pump. So let's do that first. You're gonna rebuild this. Hmm. Too big. It's a bit loose. So I got to put plenty of this. Try to let it dry and I will test it. Make sure it doesn't come off. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, this needs to be inflated. I don't have a pump. So let's see how I'm going to do this. Okay, I've been thinking about those snakes and um, I remember that the two time we saw a cobra, a baby cobra and a adult cobra was in the same spot, same area. So. I'm thinking that there must be a place here where there's holes or something where the snake are hiding. And I was right, I show you. Okay. I know there's big holes underneath there. Um, probably came out from here. Yeah, so we need to fill all this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look on YouTube. 
how to eliminate snake nest how to go about it um, that's the best way maybe I have to throw some diesel there or something I'm not sure to kill them first and then fill up the holes uh, with um, cement probably um, so it doesn't come out I don't know if you hear noise but very often people lose their chain here because they don't they never check the chain and uh, I'm sure somebody loses chain here somewhere it is it is some problem everywhere big effort up the thing and uh, the chain came off of course I'm filling all those holes. Okay, done. I know we can use ammonia, vinegar, a mixture of onion and garlic boiled and then spray around. So we'll do some of those things and keep the snake away. Okay. So all the cavities been filled heavily. So I don't think the snake will come out. I don't know, but I doubt so. We'll come back again and see what happened. Okay, at last I found my pump in the shed. Is one hangy there, but I never realized. So it's good. So what we got to do, we got to put that in. So you can see I could pump it probably half of it roughly uh, we could do that this is not closed yet okay see what I mean so that's taking almost half the pump let me have a look The air is coming off, so we need to pump it and take this off straight away. Okay. I just show you inside, I don't know if you can see it, but it's taking a good portion Daddy. volume of uh, this. Yes. She's cooking and <laughs> she's testing the white wine. <laughs> My God, if you don't believe me. I'm cooking. Yeah, but don't drink the whole bottle. Okay, oh, all right. Still on, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's put the cup on. So you know what I mean, it's, uh, see, it will uh, push the water out of the pump, so new water can come in. Come here. Come here. That's it, and the good thing is that 
I can have access to it, I can remove it, put another one if something happened. So, let me just make sure it's clean. We don't want any leak. Okay, this side is done, I have to do this side. Uh, that's important. before I'm gonna put some inside that doesn't have to come off anymore now unless we cut it okay Just sweat a little bit, everything dry. That's important. Okay. See how we're going to fit this in. And if we put this one here, that's not bad. That's almost in the middle, but which means that. I may have to put this after. First, this one. Very, very bad. Yay, good girl. My love. Yum. Yeah. Maybe I make little bit something like this, bring in the mountain, let them try. Yeah, if you want. But only a little bit. Maybe yeah. maybe they don't like. <laughs> Probably don't like. Only a little bit and some I will make a red. I like, I will eat. I will eat. Little bit one. for you and then red spaghetti yep. for them. Okay, good idea. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have a pesto spaghetti. Is that what it is? Huh? Pesto tuna linguini. Oh, it's lunch time already. I didn't realize. Wow. Okay, let's hit. Mm. <laughs> Always add that little touch. Is that got sardine? Tuna. Tuna. And then black Tuna, olives. Black olives. What else? It's no out. parmesan. We ran out of parmesan, so we need to buy. Eh? Tomorrow we go shopping. You don't need parmesan. This mm -hmm. recipe. Okay. Uh, cheers. Bing, bing, bing. Ah, you give me something. Of course, I put uh, oregano. Ding. Oregano? Ding. Italian herbs. I'm oh, sorry. 
Mm. Perfecto, delicioso. Oh, very good Spanish. Perfecto, delicioso. Muy rico. Muy rico. Mm. Sí. Sí. Mi amor. Sí. sí. Dame un beso. Dame un beso. <laughs> So what up in your parents' house out there with the snakes? Before, sometimes, because our house is always made of timber like that. Sometimes we wake up, we get the snake under the mat. Yeah, it's true. Or even the part, some part of the house. You have cobra as well or python? Python, most common. What they do, python, what they eat? But python, they eat the pi people eat the python here. Yeah, I know, we eat, we try once, huh? Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Sometimes there are different kind of snakes, I don't know the name. But here, the one we saw is a cobra. Here. But they can eat chicken. Yeah, of course. No? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's my hat. How do you get it? Working hard. Wow. Next job, huh? You like your studio? <laughs> mm -hmm. Dion? Ariel? Okay, that pump is ready to be tested. No, now because it's late in the day, almost dark. It'll take a whole day to test it. I'm sure by the time we connect everything and play with it. So that will be for another episode. Thank you for watching this video until the next video take care god bless you all bye bye